What's going on everybody? Uh, this video is long overdue. Um, Steve from Xenon De Depot was kind enough to send me some 4300K Phillips bulbs to test out. And that's what you're looking at right now. Uh, the low beams are the Phillips 4300K. I've had them a couple months and I pretty much run them um, on all the time. So they're supposed to be around 100 hours of burn time for them to completely warm up a little bit more so they're not as yellow um, so they'll be closer to 45 to 4700 K so I try I believe I'm really in that spectrum now without having spectra analysis devices and all that stuff to tell you exactly where I'm at uh, naked eye that's where it's at the fog lights are the e extreme LEDs from Xenon Depot so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drive around a little bit here um, it's not completely completely dark um, but it's dark enough that you can see the difference of nothing on versus having the headlights on, the low beams. I am a firm believer of all the different setups that I've had uh, on not only the 4Runner but on every vehicle I've owned. Um, these Phillips 4300 bulbs are by far the best. There's a lot of science that goes into the light spectrum and chemistry of um, visible light and the light that you can use and light that gets absorbed and that's a whole nother video in itself but for the bulbs they are the best the Philips bulbs are amazing and it's nothing against the Xenon Depot bulbs as I still have my 5000k hanging around just in case something happens with these and then my wife's Prius we are running the 5000K uh, Xenon Depot bulbs as well. Um, as you can see, we're in kind of like a residential area. We'll kind of get out in the country-ish a little bit here in a second. But the low beams, uh, given the color temperature that they're at um, and the way that they're aimed, I don't get flashed at all. Um, like this car coming up here, uh, maybe a newer Toyota or Acura. And those are LEDs, and those are you know, closer to 5,000 or 5,500K. Um, and they look nice, and they're really bright looking, but once you get behind the driver's seat, the amount of light output, the light that throws down the road, and the usable light that you get out of that becomes less and less the higher up the Kelvin temperature that you go. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to get you guys a fair assessment of like city driving ish where you've got um, other cars and street lights and then once we get out here in just a minute we'll be kind of outside the city at least where we don't have too many uh, street lights and traffic and that so you can see really see how much of a difference it makes um, I did take out my Baja designs fog lights I had pros and while they are awesome, they are way too bright, even aimed as far down as possible. And even with the white cornering lenses, they're just way too bright. And I hate to admit it because I love lights and love bright lights. They're just way too bright um, to use on the road when there's other traffic in that. Um, up in the mountains or when you're on country roads or when you're out in the middle of nowhere, perfectly fine when nobody else is around, but um, they're just are just way 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 too bright for uh, street driving and I've had a couple people actually say the same thing about uh, the uh, sports being way too bright for the squadrons um, yeah so the all the cars on the left that's uh, interstate 25 but here on the right you know there's no other real traffic there's no other real light other than that uh, ambient light of the sun is down on the other side of the mountain so it'll get relatively dark really quick um, so here's what the fog lights and they pretty much fill in that area between the bumper and where the lows uh, low beams pick up so as you can see there's that nice white line Right in here. Oh, where's my finger at? Right there. 
is where the lows really start. So between that area and the uh, front bumper, kind of that lower area right in front of the truck, where the fog lights are designed to pick up light, uh, that's where you get that light. Um, it does scatter a little bit, um, and it doesn't throw weight on the road, but it's they're in a reflector, that small reflector housing. So this is without and with. Um, so they're not the best for throwing light down the road, but for where they're at, for what I'm using them for, they're perfect. I'm not looking to project light miles down the road. I'm looking to project light right in front of the truck in that little area. And as you can see, it brings the light off to either side um, to pick up stuff off to the shoulder or the other lane a little bit. And you can see in the truck in front of us is filthy, but you can see that distinct, very distinct cutoff line just below their taillights. So uh, that light is going to be just below their mirrors as well. So you're not blinding other drivers with this, these lights either. Um, so we'll come back into the city. This road we're about to get on has got a little bit higher speed limit, so you can get the, a better feel of uh, how they work at a higher speed. And again, the car in front of us, it's cut just below the mirrors, and it's a lower car. Uh, this guy beside us wants to take up two lanes. As you can see in the background, that's uh, the Rocky Mountains and the Rocky Mountain National Park where the sun's just going down. We're getting snow all day long and now it's not snowing up there. It's cleared up a little bit. So it's it's really hard to comprehend on camera when you're you know looking at the light in front of the truck because it looks like it's just daylight. It looks like it's just regular light. It looks like it's nothing too crazy bright or too white or too blue or too yellow it just looks like you know regular sunlight and that's what this was these color temperatures that's what they're meant to do is simulate sunlight and throw the light way far down the road so you can't even pick it up as a camera but you know way down here the, the street signs I'm able to pick those up there's a hospital off to the left I can see the hospital sign Yeah, I can't say enough great things about these lights. And here you can kind of see in a reflection of the truck in front of us, they are not that 4300 like dull halogen yellow looking lights now. They have warmed up, they're a little bit higher temperature. Um, I wouldn't say they're quite 5000K. Uh, when I did the testing, the other day when I put the 5000K bulb in right after the 4300K bulb, one, there was a noticeable difference between uh, the flex readings, but two, when I was just by my naked eye, the 5000K appears brighter because it appears whiter, but it's not brighter. In fact, it's actually less bright than the 4300K. And then the LEDs, again, they look very bright and they have a nice crisp white color to them, um, but they uh, they don't have that punch. They're, they're not that. And a lot of it comes down to Kelvin temperature. It really does. Um, and I'll probably do a video for that to try to make it as much as possible in layman's terms to understand how different Kelvin temperatures um, work with light absorption, which your naked eye can pick up, um, what light, how it disperses and the different color, um, not even getting into, you know, HIDs in a halogen reflector housing versus a HID in a HID design projector housing, um, uh, just just purely you know color temperature output and throw and things like that. Um, 
So again, I don't make it too long or almost to where I'm gonna turn uh, to go get some dinner. Um, and I think once we get up there, I'll uh, stop. So you can see on the Mini Cooper in front of us, it kind of blinds out the camera, but um, just above the license plate is where that, just where the license plate is, that's where that cutoff is. And it's a nice, crisp, white color. And for years I've, I've wanted, I've tried all kinds of different companies and all kinds of different bulbs and all kinds of different Kelvin temperatures and all kinds of different wattage versus 35 watt versus 55 watt, um, HID versus LED. Um, you know, I've looked at all kinds of uh, different lights over the years and this by far is the best setup of any vehicle that I've ever had. Couple vehicles ago, I had a Lexus GS 350. It was an 08, but it had a, the D2S um, OEM uh, projectors and HIDs. And while they were nice, um, uh, these blow them out of the water with the amount of light that I have, um, the amount of light that goes on the road, and how confident I feel about driving at night and my ability to see. I like the road trip. My wife and I like the road trip all the time, so a lot of times we end up taking the 4Runner over our Prius because it has a vertical driving position. I, I think it's a little bit more comfortable, but a lot of it for me comes down to if we're going to be driving at night, then the lighting is better for this. So we're getting into some darker spots here between these traffic lights, so you can really see how big of a difference it is. Um, how much it lights up the road. Because you can see a little bit further down the road, there's just dark spots, and then all of a sudden you get nice bright uh, light. Look at all the reflective stuff off the fire truck. Off to our right. That's picking up. So I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, my channel does not meet the requirements for YouTube for monetization anymore because um, I have the views, I have the amount of videos, it just comes down to followers. So if you look through my channel, I have a lot of lighting videos um, of a lot of Xenon Depot lighting videos with the 5000K with the LEDs, with the 4300K um, Xenon Depot bulbs, um, Pia LED headlight bulb. I mean, I've had all kinds of different setups in this truck. Um, so feel free to browse those videos. And if that's something that you like and you want to continue seeing videos like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And yeah, it helps me out eventually monetize the channel to where taking all this extra free time I can maybe get a little bit of kickback from YouTube to help cover costs and and fuel and equipment and the time that it takes to record and the time that it takes to turn around and edit and then, you know upload and, and the time that it takes to answer all the questions that are on Facebook and that so it really is uh, appreciated so if you like the video go ahead and click the like button if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and please 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 tell your mom tell your dad your brother sister your cousin your neighbors your aunts your uncles um, everybody um, share the video share my page um, get those subscriptions those subs up so I can keep making these videos so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there and uh, thanks for watching